What's up YouTube? This is John from Liquid House. In today's video, we're gonna be highlighting the 8700K delitting process. Now this video would have been a little bit different except that Rocketcool was gracious enough to send me their delitting kit as well as their new copper IHS replacement from the stock Intel one. I've delitted a few different processors in the past and so, you know, delitting is cool, but I was really excited for the copper IHS replacement. I haven't really seen something like that before and so when I first saw it, I was I was blown away that, you know, honestly, someone hadn't thought about this earlier. And so I was lucky enough to receive one. And so I wanted to put that on the 8700K to see how it performed. Because as most of you know, the 8700K runs a little hot. Timing seemed to work out pretty well. As my buddy who I had recently done a build in the Inwin 909 that I featured in a video previously last year, wanted to upgrade from his 5820K and X99 Godlike Carbon to a 8700K with the MSI Godlike Z370. One note about that motherboard, though it is pretty expensive, and I wasn't really lenient with his purchasing decision. Yeah, he was really excited about it though, and so I'll, you know that made me curious to see how well that board would perform, mainly with overclocking, because at this point, all motherboards can pretty much do the exact same thing other than overclocking potential. And so I was very curious to see how that thing would do. But man, I was blown away. We got the 8700K 24-7 stable, mind you, at 5.324 gigahertz using 1.39 volts. And the max temps we saw during that burn-in process was 67 degrees Celsius. Those results are so good. I wanted to buy the 8700K off of him. It sounds like he got a golden chip, but I mean, there is something to be said about the delitting process. People out there that also delid normally see a 15 to 20 degree Celsius difference between the stock thermal paste that Intel provides on their IHS and the liquid metal that is applied when the delitting process is almost complete. That being said though, the copper IHS replacement from Rocket Cool also offers a 7 degrees Celsius drop as well. And so I was very curious to see the final temps and man, I could not believe how well it was performing. There is something to be said about the 1.39 volts, you know, at, at a number like this, you would expect, you know, voltage to be at like 1.45, but for 24 seven usage, anything over 1.4 volts is really pushing it for reliability and you don't want any degradation in your processor over the years. So 1.39 was really impressive in itself but seeing those temperatures at 5.324 gigahertz only at hitting at 67 celsius was absolutely insane to me i was going to also include some tube bending in this build since i had to completely refresh and do all the new bends but seeing that i recently did the lee and lee montage for the all the bends i just didn't want to repeat myself essentially and so i just didn't really include that in the video but i did throw together some b-roll during the delaying process as well as the finished product with all the fresh bends and all that so i hope you guys enjoy and if you guys like the video make sure to smash that like button share with your friends and subscribe we'll see you in the next one